think I can handle this monster myself. Nice. been traveling alone because I'm weak. I can still get stronger. Just a thought. Who's hiding these key fragments behind strong monsters everywhere? Why would they scatter the items to release Isti's seal if they wanted her to stay locked up forever? Maybe they were gonna let her out if she was a good girl, or they needed her. So they can just seal and release her over and over just like that? Yisti is... 
a person, right? Right? Well, we'll know when we meet her. She's got a really cute voice, though. I bet you she's like our age. I hope. I don't want to find out she's a nasty end boss monster in disguise, you know? <sighs> that would suck. I would most definitely cry if that happened. But what are we supposed to do when we get all four key fragments? Rescue Isty, of course! Did you forget about that, too? No, no! I mean, she hasn't told me where she is. Actually, she said she doesn't know. What? You don't know that? I guess we never really discussed her location, but come on! Maybe she's being guarded by a strong monster, too. Like the key fragments. We should be able to find her if we keep looking for strong monsters. Problem solved! There is no need for that. Isti? Can you hear me? Can you chat right now? Over! Yes, Neptune. I am so sorry I've been unable to keep in touch lately. Isti says she's sorry for not contacting us. I wish she woulda, like, texted us. Over. I can hear her. Faint, but I can hear her. You can too, right, Iffy? Yeah, but barely. How, though? We were never able to hear anything before. It's most likely because I've become a tough, independent girl who doesn't cry. Actually, that has nothing to do with it. My seal has weakened since the fragments are gathering in one place. It also has something to do with you all being on Planetune. My cell phone is working again, too. We must be getting more bars all over the place. No. It is possible you are closer to where I am being held. The key fragments should lead you to me. I heard you for the first time while on this landmass, too. All right, so the fragments will know where Isti is. Over. Just don't try to talk to them. I don't think they will respond to you. Right. Try watching them closely. They should show some response as you come ever closer to me. Here? Doesn't look too wacky. Actually, it's pretty much normal normal. Yes, this is an important area. It could have looked a little unique. Why would anyone hide something in a place that stands out? strong as they look.
mind if you count on me next time, too. I want to be stronger! Wow, I can feel the energy! Level up! Junk. They're not as strong as they look. waiting for you. It must have been a difficult journey around the world. I am glad everyone has made it safely. Thank you so very much for gathering the key fragments. Hello? Where are you, Isti? Where's the girl with the cute voice? Here, Isti, Isti, Isti. Come on out, girl. I am the book before you. I am a tome. I contain all information regarding this world. So this book is Isti, huh? All right! What do we do now? Don't look at me! I'm sure if you put the fragments together, something will happen. Like a puzzle? One sec. Let me give it a try. I'll help you too. Well, this one obviously goes here. Oh, that one's on this edge. Um... to look like anyway maybe we should just stack them like a totem pole oh oh it's glowing thank you now i am freed from that seal nice to meet you i'm isti or <laughs> rather istoire she sounds kind of the same, but it's not really what I expected. Sure. I look a little different when I'm a tome. Like a book. Minor changes are normal. Okay, so Isti is just Nep's pet name for you. Anyway, that's one down. What are we doing now? We're gonna go after Overlord Momus and R4. We're not done yet. We didn't find either of them, even though we were zooming all over the world. Got any cryptic metaphors for us, Isti? Unfortunately, rather fortunately, Overlord Momus does not exist. It was all fabricated by R4. R4 disguised herself to suit various situations. All of these are complete falsities. To top it off, you all actually have bought R4. Nuh-uh. Wait, so Momus is all pretend, and R4 is the one spreading stories about him? We heard this story from a heretic first, who heard it from an evangelist. She came to us about it too at one point. But that 
Evangelist was like a witch who was all stalking and attacking us. That was also Momus' messenger, huh? Sometimes she's an evangelist, sometimes the Overlord's messenger. She was doing this all to achieve one end. In that case, we've already beat up R4. No, all those fabrications were mirrors of her true self she created. Did you not notice? On each land, you dealt with some sort of scheme she created. She did keep coming back over and over, but they were all different lands. I just thought they kind of looked similar. So what was her objective? She's been involved in a whole lot, but I don't have any idea who she is. True. There is still much I have to tell you. How about we find a place we can have a more comfortable discussion? Well, where should I start? Not that I know much, right? How about I introduce myself formally and talk a bit about Celestia? You mean where the goddesses live? Did you come from there too? Why, yes. I have been part of the goddesses' powers for a long time. One goddess in the past gave me a portion of her powers in the event she would try to misuse it. What kind of power did you get? What are you capable of doing? Nothing alone. Same goes for the goddesses. They cannot change the world without my explicit consent. So, you're like the boss. But, I still don't get exactly what you are. I am the world. The world is me. Everything within this tome is within this world. Change the tome? Then the world will change, and vice versa. I am one with the world. Since the beginning of my existence, all succeeding goddesses ruled and made changes to the world through me. So you got control over everything. How did you get locked away then? A goddess is the only one able to script changes in the tome. I could only try to resist in vain. I am just a part of one almighty goddess. I only contain the power to execute an idea. So the goddesses are the ones who think up the ideas. Correct. To make a change in the world, we are both necessary. I getcha. It's give and take. She scratches your pages and you scratch her itchy spots. Sure. If that is how you want to put it, that is the gist of our symbiotic existence. Now, to the main topic. The one interfering with all you have been trying to accomplish is none other than the former goddess, R4. She is attempting to destroy this world. She is trying to weaken the goddess's powers by summoning monsters to affect the amount of faith powering Celestia. Getcha. It's possible for a goddess to burn multiple copies of discs illegally. Burning illegal copies, eh? That aside, I have been following your journey by writing inside the tome. Sunj in Lastation, Ivoir in Leanbox, and Ganache in Louis. It seemed like corporations, basilicoms, and the guild were the cause of all the ordeals. But it was our force influence. Those names don't really help me remember any specifics. That said, our force goal is to rule over a decimated world. I do not know her intentions, but we must do something. We don't have any idea where she is. Do we have to go all over the world again? Jet lag is making me gain weight. That is due to your eating habits. But there is no need. I am the world's everything, and it is my everything. Oh, I remember.
remember you saying that line before. So you really are the Isti I've been looking for. Now that I am freed, I can find anything. According to the records within the tome, R4 is hiding in Celestia. With the goddesses vacated, she has taken the opportunity to control the Holy Land. How bold. As expected of her. Then, wait a second. How are we going to get her if she's all the way up there? Yeah, where is Celestia anyway? Fairy tales usually say it's beyond the sky. Should we take a shuttle from Planetune? Unfortunately, there is no shuttle running to Celestia. That would be weird. However, there is still one way. Follow me. Most importantly, we must be certain you adorable ladies are capable of defeating her. That's no problemo. We've blasted her alter egos a bunch of times before. Remember, R4 herself is still a complete goddess. It would be best if we could gather all four goddesses to our side. We don't got time for that. Monsters are all roar and attacking people. We know where she is, so let me go get her. I know how you feel, but don't be so rash. I'm sure Isti needs time to prepare our trip to Celestia anyway. She's right. Haste makes waste. My grandpa's words ring true again. We should be cautious and rationable. Neptune, please listen to your friends. We still need a little time. Saw. Neptune. Sup, Histy. You seem tense. I have been trying to decide whether or not to tell you this. Because you seem to love how you are now so much. Um, should we give you two some privacy? No, please stay. I think the two of you should be aware of this as well. Does it have to do with Nep Nep's past? That's right. There's nothing Isti can't tell us. Yes, there is something she has forgotten, which is very, very important. You are, in actuality, the CPU of Planetune. <laughs>